First of all, I'm going to tell you how lit, <laughs> how lit this run through at the dough was. I was talking about it had everything. I went so long that it cut off. And that's perfectly fine. First take, I don't care. I'm not reshuffling these cards because I was on one. It's good, y'all. Got a Cypress Ebony here to give you the short version of that hour and a half video I just had that you that YouTube was like, <laughs> you guessed it and you was wrong. We cutting you off. I got too carried away and let my time lapse. And of course it doesn't save when that happens, which is perfectly fine because so much of what I was talking about, I think I just needed to say out loud Need to warm my throat chakra up. Oh, I'm messing with my buds. Yeah. But hey, she feeling herself. She feeling herself. About to get y'all right on together because this live is everything. This video is everything. Honey done pulled out some major arcana that's gonna blow your mind. I I almost coughed. That's because I'm talking a lot. Um, so major arcana that's going to blow your mind. <laughs> that's because that lemon went down the wrong way. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been it's good. It's so good. I can't even tell you how good it is. Okay. <clears throat> Start from the beginning. Let me just take a pause of the cause and collect myself from the energy because what I read out this book, you don't even know. And I was turned up on that video. So maybe this will bring it back in and it'll look more professional. Because I was all kinds of ratchet. <laughs> I'm like, Effie, I didn't know that was you. Well, you don't know me, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so listen to me. Listen to me, kiddos. First out the jump was Aladdin and the magic lamp off the rip came out. I mean, I shuffled. I shuffled so long. I didn't start do. I didn't turn cards until thirty five minutes in. So that'll let you know, honey. This went down. I talked about all the obvious, you know. I talked about us being um, as a collective taking this time to get with your loved ones to relax, you know, to not complain and be grateful for what we have. Because it's trust me, you know, this situation caught people off guard, probably in a transition and let the left them without nowhere to go. And who want who will want to be without nowhere to go right now? Or to really be seeing who was who who people are when you need to go stay with them or figure out some stuff because honey. I know who is in these streets. And I understand that there may not be as ca many cases um, as maybe, you know, but it's still people dying none nonetheless. And they weren't sick before. So as we should be raising our consciousness, raising our health, raising our vibration, raising all of these things as a collective. And, you know, us light workers, I did go in about you know, people who are already, you know, who already eat good and already been living good and already been trying to get people to see the light and all of this, you know, right now, I told y'all, you know, and a little bit, you know, harsh, it's time to be more gentle than ever, you know, because I know you probably say, well, life ain't been gentle with me, but, but 
do you see why we have to shift these energies? You know what I'm saying? We have to be the ones because hell, I wish somebody was there with me when I was going through dark night. I wish, you know, all the shadow works and towers that happened that I've had to, you know, hell, just had some recent shit, you know, with my own situation in my own home. And I'm like, wait a minute, you know, so it doesn't stop. And that's what people need to remember. But especially people coming into this awakening on uh, what we've really been dealing with and being prepared. And, and now, you know, can you grow your own food so you don't have to go to the store if something really happens? You know, do you actually have seeds and soil and water? Um, do you have an off-grid, you know, shelter? Um, is there, has your family designated a meet-up spot in case things like this happen? This is all real shit. Like, trust me, I talk about war ready. My daddy taught me well. So, honey, and Master Sergeant taught me very well. And, you know, because people get caught off guard, you know, I had already been quarantined. I had already been sat down. I had already gotten laid off from my work this year. And I was just like, oh, what do I do? I know I'm supposed to be doing my spiritual work, but I really want to. I had school, in, in school, you know, and like I said, I keep saying, you know, when you want to study this system, it's going to take all your time, too. On top of being a mom. So it's like, get your motherfucking mind right. Get your motherfucking head together. Get your heart. I talked about people being bougie with their spirituality. Being spiritual bullies. And, you know, um, you know, I, I remember when I was trying to do my model and acting thing. And there was bullies and people, you know, trying to, you know lie, cheat, and steal they way and lie, cheat, and steal on you and fuck who you knew people, you know it's, a, it's the same shit everywhere no matter what genre you in honey honey it's still people just as shady you know because they want to be the best everybody wants to be the best I know it all you know and if you knew it all motherfucker I promise you'd have it all and then you wouldn't be telling nobody you'd be trying to vaccinate all I'm saying is this giant deprogramming and breaking down is going to be inconvenient it's going to be oh you you thought Oh, well, you know, people going to wake up and, and all of this, you know, what I'm saying? and it wasn't going to be like institutions being shut down and that gig that you complained about going to every day being. We got to bust it down. And if you don't get that then you have a severe problem. The system is broke. It's been broke. It ain't been for you. It has been oppressing you. It has never been about you. And it never will be unless you bust the shit down and get the right people in there building it up. Bottom line. Bottom line. So that's my take on that. And that's all I've got to say about that. Magician, genie in the lamp. I read a whole scripture. Turns out, um, Aladdin, the magic lamp, it is about uh, the genius within, the, uh, you know, in every child, an inner child. And, um, and it didn't say every child. It just said genius within a child. And about the imagination and using words to communicate. And I thought about my little rascal. And the learning and the magician granting the wishes of that child, you know, the wonder igniting. And then we went on to the wizard. And the wizard is the Hierophant.
And he kind of looks like Merlin, if you ever believe in such a thing, you know. Um, Hierophant, you know, was uh, considered the Pope in some other decks, and here they call him the Wizard. This deck, most uh, would consider, like, um, the Pope or the Hierophant, you know, the priest to be, like, browbeating you with religion and Christianity and you know, all of this um, type of religion. But in this case, the wizard is more of a spiritual um, guardian, uh, a spiritual grantor of teachings and knowledge of the spiritual realm. Uh, Esoteric vibes, for real. Like, this with this, you know, this, this, baby, let me tell you. These inner child cards, this they take you on a trip. One of the most gorgeous decks I've seen. People, I, I see people using all kinds of stuff. But honey, this it knows it all and sees it all. And then nine of hearts. <laughs> and it reminds me actually of like. You know how they always show um, Aquarius with the water except this mermaid. This mermaid, she's in the water. She has a vase and she, and a water is coming down the waterfall through that seashell. Through that seashell. And then she's just getting a little water from there under the rainbow. And you see all the nine hearts. Being full, just full and abundant. That's what the genie and the wizard will do. That's what the magician and um, Harafon are bringing. You know, full in abundance. And then it's like seeker of wands. And of course, seeker would be um, a minor arcana, uh, a page, page, seeker. And it is Dorothy. See Toto and Dorothy in a little little shoes a blinging, and then the wizard there with the hot air balloon, and you see the Emerald City in the background. And that's the Seeker of Wands. Then you have Seven of Hearts, and so we had Nine of Hearts, and then Seven of Hearts, and then it's like this inner, you know inner enlightenment, inner knowing type situation going on. See that light beaming around her and it's just like the calm, the going within, the healing that thing. The reflection deep, deep, deep. She looked almost like she in Atlantis. Like that's how deep she done went down. You see how it's like, but she's underwater. But she's a whole mermaid. Look at the fish. Fish down. The fish went at the top with the homegirl up there getting the water. Fish down are at the bottom. She done went all the way down. Deep dive. Deep, deep, deep. Shout out to them deep divers. <laughs> down, down, down. And she's going in. And she's, she's got a star too. And oh. And then I don't know. Okay, so there was a, a trend with stars. I'm noticing in all of these dumb cards, honey. Not so much in Seeker of Wands. Not in, and then the next is, okay. The next is the Three of Crystals, so. You know, going within, grown folks, y'all going in and going deep, and then the kids, the outside playing. Remember, See how the back of the tree with the little heart. That's See, that's home. Home is where the heart is. Home is right there. And then look at the babies. And they little, they little, um, the little rainbow jump rope, it has crystals on the end. And there's a little girl and a little boy holding the rope. And the little girl's jumping in the middle. And they're just having a good time. Hold on. Let me get that. They're having a really good time. Playing like we used to. Like now kids want to be on the game and on their phone all day. Go outside. 
We used to have to go outside. We used to be in creeks and rivers and and woods and and all kinds of shit that we you know nowadays you know you hear stories kids begin to snatch even back then especially but you know living in certain parts of my city and then living in east texas it was safe we could do that we could be gone you know my great grandma was like just get out of my face her birthday uh, is uh this month and i got a little message from her last night and i'm just i'm grateful I'm telling y'all, this ain't the time of being about be on no other bullshit. This is time about gratitude, being kind, being loving, doing your, anything that you can think of that you, a stone you haven't turned. Like I am learning to take my own knowledge because I, you know, I said, well, I wait to file my taxes. Go to file my taxes. Somebody done file my taxes, so I gotta wait till you know, IRS. You know, I'm not getting no stimulus or nothing like that. Which I went, I, I waited because I was just like, well, it's not a big deal. You know, I just want for me later, but only to discover so much is going on because I was so consumed with other stuff. But I'm telling my everything y'all can think of, get yourself together. You know, pull that money out the bank if you feel like you really need to. The way shit is going, it's kind of sketchy. Because the bank don't have all that money to... Five of swords, kind of like what I just went on right there, going into that energy. In thought, he he's thinking so tough. He didn't put his you see his sword over there in the sand, and he's gotten off his little raft. He parked his little raft, but he he's on this rock talking to the starship starfish. And how many points does the starfish have? So we're running on a trend of the star. It's like baby girl who was diving deep at the star on her, and then. Of course, given that, you know, Aladdin and the Magician is a star there on kind of like the little poop, the rug, the magic rug. And the wizard, his hat has stars on it. Even the horse has a star on, on his fore, on his, um, oh, but people who ride horses should know. On his oh, what is the name of the his headpiece? The horse has his leather little strap has a medallion on it with um, a star, and then the wizard he's granting, and it stars. You know, there's a man holding this like like almost like a treasure box. With something shiny inside. Like some type of golden gift. And. It's being granted by. The, like the, the Pope. The Hierophant. The wizard in this case. That's granting. So that's where. I've, I'm seeing this trend of stars. And then when I go back to that. Nine. Of hearts. The starfish on the frame of baby girl at the uh, waterfall getting the water. And Dorothy's shoes, there's um, some type of lilies or something on here. And it almost, it doesn't quite have five petals. But, oh, this one's at the top do. So there is some type of trend I'm seeing with like stars. But let's keep on going because I'll be on here all day get, until these, and they're so detailed. They, they, these things are so pretty and detailed. But back where I left off of my video cut off, I had only made it to the five of hearts and five of hearts. So of course there's starfish and then there's the moon and then there's this big ass star over the top of her. And then then there's a heart with a star on it. And even though this is like not a major arcana, but baby, she's giving major vibes. Big heart, big star, big player. So much so, she's so special, she's taking that heart. 
It's on wings. And she going to send that heart to that yacht back there. I know it's a sailboat, but I, I would want to be on a yacht. <laughs> so, she's taking that thing and she's going to send it out there. She's sitting on even the two turtles, like she's sitting on a big giant turtle. And he's like, You're really going to send it out there? And she's like, mm -hmm. I'm going to send my love to you. Send it. Oh, not even, we're not going to bust in the song. We're just going to keep going. Five of Crystals. So the known is whistling while he works, working on almost like if, if, if it wasn't a shame, it would look like a um, stained glass, but it's almost like a sundial or a clock, you know? And he's whistling while he worked in this apple tree house, and he's putting the sun around the stars, and guess how many suns he has around the star? You guessed it. And this is just being happy, you know, five of crystals, five of coins, being happy to be at home and be whistling while you work, you know, be be happy to to be, to do whatever you can in your home while you're here. I think that is something important that people need to get. You say, oh, I can't clean up no more. I can't organize no more. I ain't nothing else. I, I want to see these kids no more. I want to see. But be in this energy right now because shit gonna change your work. I mean, this is a luxury. We can see instead of being at home, you can be at the hospital. And who wanna be be there? Think about it. Let's see. Mother Goose comes out and she's riding on a goose and she's got some eggs. And the moon is behind her. Slash sun. And she's going to. It's almost like she's kind of going to on her way to Earth. Like she's getting ready to head to Earth. But at first she just stopping by and saying, hey. <laughs> Mother Goose is riding out. And let's see what she's all about. actually put press stop I would have a whole shit and fit blessed be the children for they shall inherit the earth mother goose 53 and that is Roman numeral 3 the third main show Major Arcana. <sighs> I'm talking about in that first video, and this happens every time too. In first videos, when I like when I be having to get that shit out. I, and I go off, they never get saved because I go in on y'all. Like, oh my gosh, she's so quiet. I didn't know that she would snap like that. God. Okay, so Mother Goose. A descent could. A, hmm. A distinct connection exists between the ancient Egyptian mystery of the golden egg and our, our fairy tale Empress Mother Goose. I don't make this shit up, and I keep saying that I said that up like a million times in the last book. Like I don't, I don't read this. I haven't yet to read this book from back to back just because I like the suspension of this book because it busts on that ass every time I'm telling you this book is no 
That's probably the reason why I don't. Because it's like, but it, it, it probably wouldn't hit like it does when I'm in reading and read it either. And I don't pull these out unless I'm doing my lives. And you can even see on my front feed when was the last time I pulled it out. Anyhow, I'll make it up. I'm not I'm not fishing these out. Just that's my point. It's good law though. Good primary. Okay, so <laughs> many links uh can also be found uh to the goose that laid the golden egg and a great mother from ancient Egypt. Mother Goose has a pointed hat like that of Egyptian crown. This story originated in ancient Egypt where she was Mother Hatha. incarnate in the Nile goose. She laid the golden egg of the sun, another way of saying that she gave birth to Ra, the sun god. Why? Why should I read the rest of this? I don't, I don't, I don't. okay, okay, okay. The solar disk was sometimes called the goose egg. The Nile goose was also referred to as the creator of the world because she produced the whole universe in a primordial world egg. Venus, the planetary ruler of both the traditional empress and of Mother Goose was represented in ancient times as a cow or the bull from Taurus, the sign Venus rules. Often the goddess Venus was addressed as the great cow who gives birth to the sun. Orpheus said that the great goddess darkness or mother night first brought forth the world egg that was identified as the moon. This gives a more profound meaning to the children's rhyme, the cow that jumped over the moon. Mother goose is a personification of the earth mother. Makes sense. Offering the abundance of life to every human soul, the ancient Egyptian symbol for the world egg has the same as for the, an embryo in a woman's womb. Mother Goose brings us rhyme and riddle and the musical, humorous, and profound secrets to live within a child's heart child's heart. In a sense, she is birther of our essential mental consciousness. The radiant light of the sun and our feelings and emotions. The reflected light of the moon, Mother Goose as the Empress in the inner child in child <laughs> in inner child cards offers us unity with the entire world and all the kingdoms of nature what I've been saying she stimulates our love for flowers herbs trees birds animals rocks precious stones the soil itself. Oh God. When we are one with her, we are one with the life force of the cosmos. <sighs> I, 
I, I just say this stuff and then shoot it. I just say this stuff and then when Spirit confirms it, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because I just sat up here and told y'all how we had to get right. Right with nature. Let me hear if my stomach's growling. <sighs> When we are one with her, we are one with life force of the cosmos. When this card appears in a reading, open yourself to the birth potential within you. Okay. The primordial egg is hatching. New life and new beginnings are becoming actualized. Watch your dreams for clues about the future. Feel the abundance of life within your heart. Experience the joy of sensual touch. Let the healing powers of the plant, ki plant kingdom work their magic within your mind and your etheric and energy body. Realize it, that each chakra or center within your etheric body is like an egg waiting to crack open and reveal its spiritual splendor. Mother Goose is the provider of wealth of manifestation. She offers an egg within lies the whole of your universe. The whole <laughs> The whole <laughs> within this universe. Okay. No. Because the hand laying the golden egg is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, there is a special report between Trump's th third and four. In addition, magical uh, number 12. And this 12th card, Major Arcana, reduces to three. Traditional tarot. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to read it because they had a side note. And I was like, why do you have notes? I've never seen no notes on any other of the stories. But I get what it was saying because it referenced. Because for some reason, if you ever think, if you really sat and thought about any childhood stories and stuff, they all tie in. And so this is, I mean, these folks really did their homework and took their time on this book. This, this this set because they really tie the ethereal and esoteric and spiritual and earth and fantasy and what you know there's such a beautiful dance of duality of this it's like remarkable like how they made this deck but traditional tarot arch, uh, archetype the empress planetary ruler Venus I thought that was beautiful. Last but not least, we have Earth Child. And look at Earth Child. Look at Earth looking all big and the moon and sun looking small and then the baby with the big heart. Right there. Right there. Let's do this. Earth child. So I know that's a major um, arcana too, but it's like the last one. Um, I'm not the best with my Ro my, my um, Roman numerals, but I do believe out of what how many major arcana there are twenty. Yeah, somewhere around there. Let me not get the line, girl. 25 or so. So it's the last one, Earth Child, and that's on 127.
Okay, so last but not least, and I'm telling you, like, check it out. Like, y'all, this ain't for collective energy. This is beautiful. I'm telling you, for this message that I was supposed to get out and get off, this was beautiful. And I'm so grateful that spirit and everything aligned for me to do it. I'm I'm really thankful and grateful. I'm thankful and grateful for my fucking life and being alive and my baby and, you know, my loved ones. Everybody's good. Like, being in your gratitude space right now is the best thing. Fuck it. Pull that shit in. In the tradition, tra tra oh, let's read that again, honey. Enunciate. In the traditional tarot, this card is the world. So, you know, I mean, will fortune the world. I like to have the world. And this is all about, this is the world right now that is going through the smoke. So please know that it is we're coming through the forest. But don't start celebrating just yet. We are still on our way through the trees, but the light is there. In traditional tarot, this card is the world. In inner child, child cards. In inner child cards. It is the earth child and in wound human soul preparing for rebirth. I hope you didn't hear my stomach. This child represents the accumulation of a long journey. So, yeah. Okay, I get where I'm at. Okay, let me let me concentrate, guys. As the soul progresses through the passage of time, space, matter, and spirit, there is a redeemed a remnant bitch if you don't read this <laughs> there is a remergence back into the then there it goes talking about that primordial egg again see how I told you all these cards like the 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 the, the embryo the yolk it all like everything ties back and it brought up this her mortal egg again at birth a new a new being complete and whole makes its dramatic entrance into the physical world of earth water air and light this card suggests the potential of future development and the creative interpenetration of multi-dimensional consciousness. My God. This is the last card. If you think it's a fucking game, play with your motherfucking self. To be born into the material universe is to experience pain and suffering. Ironically, the most common bond uniting every human being on earth. So, appropriately, this card has always been ruled by Saturn. The beautiful ringed, ringed, the beautiful ring planet that signifies discipline, responsibility, concentration, hard work, vulnerability and the resolution of old karma the tibetan master dk writing through his disciples alice bailey confirmed a profound link between saturn and the earth both planetary bodies are intimately associated with the divine ray or force carrying the energy of active intelligence and adaptability. By learning difficult lessons on earth, lifetime after lifetime, 
the human soul begins to comprehend the vast scope of experiences and infinite universe. The human embryo itself, while gastrating, gastrating in the womb of 40 weeks of pregnancy, recapulates the entire evolution of life on this planet as it progressively resembles first reptilian then amphibian and finally mammal mammalian forms before birth takes place the beauty majesty complexity and uniqueness of life on earth are woven together within the fabric of the human baby about to be born. There is an unusual yet distinct connection between this 21st card of the major trumps and its numerical reverse and 20th card Jack and the Beanstalk. The Beanstalk that Jack climbs linking heaven and earth is similar to the umbilical cord uniting mother and child. Jack as a fairy tale version of the hanged man voluntarily decides to bear his cross and move through the process of self-sacrifice. The embryoic soul the earth child makes a spiritually conscious choice to re-enter the physical world and once again take up the cross of earthly living. Just as the hanged man reverses his understanding to prepare for a transition known as death, the earth child gives up its divine state of bliss to receive humanity and await its transition known as birth. The fool. Zero. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, the fool in this was uh, basically Little Red Cap, Little Red White Hood. Hood. The sequence of 22 major cards reaches its climbing of the earth child call me let's read that again okay i don't like doing that because i wanted to come off clear like okay it, i wanted to penetrate the sequence of 22 major cards reaches its culmination in the earth child but this natural process is a circular dance rather than a series of linear images and experiences. What I tell you, it all ties back and it like rolls around. The embryo containing all the meaningful experiences gained in the passage through the major trumps matures into the fool, little red cap. I hadn't got that far. I hadn't got that far. I hadn't read that far. I get turned up. Y'all, no, excuse me. <laughs> I didn't get that far. And the cycle of life begins anew. For this reason, the Earth Child card is deeply associated with the magic of organic growth and the spiritual forces at work in the seed state. I'm not going to say it. I'm hoping you peep in game here. I'm hoping you peep. I'm just hoping that you're understanding what is going down right now. This is collective. This is everybody. This ain't just no particular sign. Ain't no particular. I'm saying. This is for all of us. For the greater good. <laughs> Okay, so
When this card appears in your readings, powerful and divine influences are, thank you, gestating within your aura. Embrace them when an, with an open mind. Remember how protected and nurtured you are by invisible helpers, guides, and teachers. You are never alone. Experience the universe harmony Reminating from the sun, emanating from the sun, the sacred nu nucleus of the solar system and become the rhythmic beating of your own heart, the radiant center of your body. The ancient saying, as above, so below, is true, for cosmic wisdom is encoded in your DNA and cells. Most of all, let a sense of childlike wonder fill your life. See with new eyes. Touch the world as if for the first time. Some encourage for the rights of inner nation that lie ahead. That lie ahead. Traditional tarot archetype. The, the archetype, the world, planetary ruler, Saturn. Baby, it was getting me choked up there, so I was stumbling and fumbling, but honey, I got her out. I got, the, and that was all juicy spirit energy pumping. Like, oh, honey, you want to read? I'm going to give y'all a read. And I'm telling you, I didn't, I was like, do I have to? Do I have to give this read? Like, Spirit was like, yes, absolutely. It's time. You, you've been putting it off and playing. No, you're doing it today. I'm going to make a room and make it happen where you can do it today. Two, right. I'm grateful, Spirit. I'm grateful. I'm great. I'm so humbled and happy and elated to what just went down here. Because that was so beautiful and so prolific. Like, it just spoke something to me and really hear me. And if I thought I wasn't lined up already. But of course I was. I was able to give that. I'm telling you, that was some gems in that thing. I, please. I think we all can take a lesson here today. something to think about it's going to be all right everything's going to be all right have heart keep your mind and even if you can't go do this and go do that do what you can I bet you it's somebody or something that could use your attention right at home. Right from your home. Love you. Love and light. Goddess Empress Ebony. Let's see if I can get a cute one.